Hello, Sailor Azumi here, and welcome to my new playthrough of Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions. Um, I'm not going to waste any time here, and jump straight into it. Here we go. So, a little bit of background here. I am playing the PSP version of Final Fantasy Tactics. Um... I originally played the PlayStation version. It was one of the first games I had for PlayStation 1, so I played it a lot. So, I know a lot of little tricks in this game. Um, I play a little bit weird, but by the end of the game, my characters, my regular characters will be pretty much like gods. So... As you know, I'm not much of a reader, so this is all here if you want to read it. I, I can't make it go any faster, so... Yeah, this is, like I said, this is one of my favorite games. I even had the Prima Strategy Guide on it. Took notes and everything, so... A lot of the grinding I'll end up doing for points and stuff, I won't do on camera because that's going to be just like doing the same level over and over and over again. There's no point. Alright, so, um, of course we're going to be... me, I mean, why not? And then, we'll just go ahead and put my real birthday in here, which is July 16th. Which would probably be about the day that this video is posted. The day before or the day after. Or the day of, even. So these cutscenes were not in the original PlayStation version. That's why I chose to play this version instead of the uh, PlayStation version because it has extras in it. And they upgraded the um, sprites a bit so it looks a little prettier. This game does have some great orchestra type music and I love it. Seems my PSP, the way that I got it hooked up, is giving me a little bit of pops and clicks. I don't know if that's coming through on the recording or not. I hope it isn't, but if it is, there's not much I can really do about it. We got a chocobo chase through the woods. Like I said, these movies were not included in the original version. Oh, a hawk or some kind of bird. Taking a stroll through some ruins.
little storm going on in the background there. Oh, Father, abandon not your wayward children of Imbolus, but deliver us. Well, see, I wasn't, I wasn't fast enough. Our Lady, Lady of Alia, it is time. I'll not be much longer, Agrius. Your escort has already arrived, Majesty. Alright, I'm not going to read anymore. Still in here, are you? It's been better than part of an hour. Yeah, Gafgarian's kind of a jerk. zero voiceover in this game so a lot of reading oh there comes somebody wounded to the door now we have to go out here and see what's going on of the Black Lion, Duke Goltana must be mad, I guess that's how you say that name, does he mean to start a war, you there wench, you cannot hope to defeat us, you will surrender the princess, blah 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 blah, you're not getting the princess dude, at least not through us. This is basically a tutorial fight. Um, you can only control your player character in this fight. All the other characters are on auto, basically. So there's honestly nothing I can do. thing about this version of the game is it has a lot more AI options so let's just set him to defender and agrius just let him go at it because like I said there's not really a whole lot I can do in this fight anyway I mean it's a tutorial fight I don't think you can lose regardless so, we're just going to let them kill each other. Let my team slaughter them, basically. Run rock. I will definitely be farming JP later. Oh, you broke her shield. You punk. What are you going to do? Aim? Yeah. He's probably doing aim three, I can guarantee it. And so is he. Alright, Chemist is going to move up. That was a bad idea, Mr. Chemist, because they're going to eat you alive. I, that was probably your fault. Aim one. Yeah, I knew. I figured that was a fire spell. Aim five. Ooh, that dude is packing heat over there.
Yeah, you should probably move over there and try to deal with those archers, Gavkarian. You can take them out in like two hits, man. Plus these couple of extra knights on my side help. There you go. One down. Yeah, there you go, Ramza, or my character, Azumi, go after the chemist. Got a good kill there. Now, I'll be doing the fights manually from here on out, but there's really no point in me manually controlling the one character I can control. I believe there's just the one left there in the middle, the knight, who's going to go after my squire. Who's smart and going to go for the backstab. Uh, this probably won't be enough to kill him, he'll probably have to get hit one more time. Yeah, only 49. He had like 72 health. Oh, Gafkarian had gained a job level. So, oh. Yay. I killed him. Okay, that's it for basically the tutorial fight. Now we get some more exposition. The princess. Oh wow, I forgot about this. There are voiceovers. Be quick and try making a little less noise. I'll not take orders from you. I'll be you quiet. Your mouth on you, princess. <sighs> Forgive me. Tis your birth and faith that wrong you, not I. Truly him? I can't be! Delita, he lives? But why does he fight under the banner of Duke Goltana? Uh, that actually was some decent voice acting. I had totally forgotten. I'd only played this version like one time. But I'm more used to the original PlayStation version, like I said. But here we go. We can we'll get our mission to go to an actual battle. Chapter 1, The Meager. the beginning who carried the princess off so th this is a before that happened
Okay. So I'm being called on a mission basically to go m on mop-up duty. Um, no, I don't wish to save right now. Continue without saving, yes. Okay. Okay. Let's see who I have here. Okay, not a whole lot to work with. We need at least one chemist. Take a squire. And another squire. Another chemist, I guess. I can tell I can tell the sound is a little off. I'm gonna to try to fix that on the next video. There's not I don't think there's anything I'm gonna be able to do about it, but hopefully we'll have to see. Okay, so this fight's not too bad. I have no control over Delita, so he's gonna do whatever he wants. Good shot with the miss there. Yeah, bring it up. Come on, Mr. Chemist. You're my priority target at the moment. Okay. best strategy right now is just to wait it makes no difference if the leader dies because he, it nothing will happen to him Let the enemy come to me. Move my chemist to a high position. Great, because I didn't do anything, now it's giving me just turns over. What are you doing?
20 points. That's a decent hit. Provided the chemist doesn't straight heal him right away. And he didn't. So I bet you they're probably going to start throwing stones now. Okay, there are people who have moved into bad positions, and my people are all in good positions. You go right ahead and go after my chemist. That You just basically opened yourself up for somebody to move right behind you. character up here go ahead and attack because yeah goodbye some points for let's see she has 13 and she has higher ground if it hits yeah there we go good shot move to here Go ahead and give her a potion just to be on the safe side. I'll probably keep none of these characters. I'll probably start a whole new set. So. Oh, they hit Delita. Oh, there you go. Chemist move right on up there and punch me. Wow. So, basically, you gave me a couple of wide open spots here on your chemist. To make him probably retreat and heal himself. If I can get some one of my people that have stone to throw a rock at him, I might be able to kill him. with a chemist. No, they don't have access to that. Nope, he has rush. Where can he move to? Yeah, I can move behind this guy. on height. Move my healer up a little bit. So far I've really not taken much damage. Ooh. Well, now I did. He got a lucky crit there. Go ahead, Mr. Potion Man.
There we go. And then just keep hitting him. Keep the pressure on the healer. Yep, that's all you can do is heal. And you do not have an unlimited amount of potions. Whereas I'll use my healer as bait in the early game because they are... Well, at least in this level, they're disposable. I don't care. I don't plan on keeping any of these characters at all, so... I'm going to recruit my own. So we'll go ahead and leave him there. Oh, you want some now? Well. Goodbye. her up out here on the roof to finish off the chemist. He may or may not heal himself because he's not on his knees. And this guy's just going to keep attacking my chemist. And I'm going to keep moving behind him and just stabbing him in the back. It's a bit boring early in the game. When all you can really do is attack. Yeah, see, he used the potion on him instead of himself, which was a bad idea. Yay! Drop the crystal. Where's it at? Where's it at? No, I didn't really need it. Okay, we'll walk over here and grab the chest. Got a free leather cap. that way um, actually let's just wait we'll get rams to finish off the I, I keep calling him rams of it I changed his name Finish off Mr. Chemist Man. Now we just got one left to deal with. Back against 
that way, which I meant to put my back against the wall. I messed up. But I figure he'll target him again anyway, so we'll move here and just wait. Move this one out of range. Ram's over here and ready. Yep, just what I figured you would do. Uh, we'll move right behind you, even if I have the lower ground. Because you're going out here in a second. I'm done playing around. Goodbye. And that's the end of the first actual fight. Honest work to see honest work would see them die in old and dead yet the little bar. Yeah. The battle is won. 500 gill, 2000 gill, mithril knife, phoenix down, and a potion. Okay, this is all just how to navigate. Okay, so that's going to be it for part one of Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm going to do try to do an episode every day like I've been doing with the current series I'm playing. Um, if you want me to keep going, please give me a like and subscribe and have a good day.